education team here at the zoo, and we are excited to be sharing our animals with you. Uh, the park and zoo are currently closed, but you can join us daily from Monday to Friday at 11.30 a.m. to learn more about our animals from home. Between 11.30 and 12, we'll be answering questions live on our Facebook page. Um, be sure to shoot us a question so we can answer it right away. Um, if you send us a question later in the day, we'll answer it as soon as we possibly can. So we challenge you at home to get involved with our videos. So the way you can show us um, is by hashtagging us at CMC Zoo School. We are super excited to start off our lesson series Today, we're going to be visiting one of our newest habitats that we have in our zoo, Friday Point. So let's get started. I'm the senior primate keeper here at the Cape May County Zoo, and I am going to be talking to you today about our awesome pair of Siamangs. Um, but first, I'm just going to introduce you to our building. It's the first thing that you see when you come in the zoo, so it's your first stop on your virtual tour. So this building is just over two years old, so it's one of our newest buildings, and it has these three species of primates. Um, so we're really excited about it, and it also has a really special sign. We love this sign because one, it's our logo, so you guys can see in the background the lighthouse, and the animals are just like our logo here, but we changed the animals to be primates, and then also we couldn't come up with a name at first. One of our great zookeepers, Adrian, came up with the idea to name it Primate Point because we have so many cool lighthouses here and so many points that are really important to our community. So we're really excited about this building and its fun name. Um, so if you want to follow me, I'll bring you to the Siamangs. Um, like I said, there's three species here at this building. So we have howler monkeys. Howler monkeys are New World monkeys, so they're found in South America. And then we have the Braza monkeys. And the Braza monkeys are Old World monkeys, so they're found all the way over on the other side of the world in Africa. So you can compare them and see them really close to each other, even though they're found all the way on opposite sides of the world. And then the really cool third species that we have are the Siamangs, and Siamangs are actually apes. So they're really different than monkeys, and we'll talk about that in just a minute. Merlin, Lila! Uh, so this is our Siamang habitat. Oh, there she's laying, she's relaxing. She loves her life here. Um, so this is Lila right here. Um, and Merlin is actually up in the window right now. He'll probably come over in just a minute. Um, you can tell the difference between Lila and Merlin because Lila, being a female, she has a lot less hair on her chest. You can see she's sunbathing right now. And then Merlin, um, he actually has what we call a tassel. So the biggest difference between apes and monkeys is that they don't have a tail. Do you guys have a tail? Do you want to check and make sure? No, no tail? All right, so that means you're an ape. Humans are a type of ape, just like the Siamangs. They do not have tails. So here comes Merlin. He's going to show us uh, his little tassel. So there's a little tuft of hair between his legs. Um, that just means he's a male and it's not a tail. So that's the easiest way to tell them apart. Now, they're 9 and 10 years old, which is actually really young. Siamangs can live 40 years, so they are very long-lived species. Um, now, one thing that's really important about these guys being apes and not monkeys, and that means we're closely related to them. So you may have heard of gorillas or chimpanzees. Those are also apes. Those are great apes, and they're very, very closely related to us. So that means there could be a lot of disease transfer. So I'm going to pop over here real quick. You guys may have noticed my bright blue gloves that I've been wearing this whole time. We use these and they are called PPE. Um, PPE stands for Personal Protective Equipment. And it's really important that we protect ourselves from the Simon and they're protected from us. So if we have a cold, we don't work with them that day. And if we think we might have something, we want to make sure that we wear this. So every day when we take care of the Simon's, we wear our gloves and also our mask just like this. And that protects us and protects them so that nothing goes up our nose or in our mouth. So this is really important when you're really closely related to a species so that there's no disease transfer. And that makes them healthy and happy. All right. So we can pop back over here. So these guys are from Asia. So we talked about our old world monkeys, our gorillas, being all the way from Africa on the other side of the world. If you want to look at a map, all the way over in Asia, there's some little islands. Well, they're big islands. They're little on the map. And they are Malaysia, Thailand, and Indonesia. And this is where you can find these Siamangs all the way over on the other side of the world. Um, they are frugivores. So frugivores is a really fun word. 
and it just means that they love fruits. So they are primary fruit eaters. They love figs. They love bananas. Those are some of their favorite foods. Um, but they'll also eat leaves. And if you're a leaf eater, the fun word that I'm going to teach you is folivore. So folivores eat leaves and frugivores eat fruit. So these guys are mostly frugivores and they're also folivores. Um, they'll also eat some insects. We give them superworms here at the zoo and they love them. So you might have a reptile or amphibian at home that you might go buy mealworms or waxworms or superworms at the store. That's some of the things that they like to eat as well. So not big on eating meat, but they do like their insects. Um, another really neat thing about these guys is that they're brachiators. I'm going to pop back over here again and grab some uh, treats for them. You guys notice that I'm wearing my gloves to throw them their treats? We don't want them to get sick, just in case. So I always wear my gloves. Hey, guys. Hopefully none of them bounce back at us. <laughs> Um, so you guys can see them move around. They're doing what's called foraging, which means they're searching for their food. And you can see their incredibly long arms. Their primary mode of locomotion is brachiation. Brachiation means that they do a hand over hand movement from the trees. So, oh, thank you, Marlon, for showing us that little bit of brachiation. Um, he pulled himself up with those really strong arms. You can also see, thank you, Leela, um, that their hands are really, really long. Those are really great for gripping those branches and moving really quickly through the trees. Um, there are forest species, so they move around in those trees really well with the way that their body is designed. So Leela's going to show us by climbing up the fence here. Hi, Leela. And she's going to show us her incredible reach there, which is pretty neat. Um, this is different than all of our other climbing species here. We have the howlers. They live in the trees, but they don't brachiate. They use their tails. And uh, we have the bronze monkeys, which are actually semi-terrestrial, so they spend a lot of time on the ground. Um, and when they're up in the trees, they use their tail for balance by just holding it up in the air. Um, these guys don't have that tail, so they use those arms to get around. Um, so the last thing I want to share with you um, is about their song. Their song is really special and it makes the species really unique. So um, the typical relationship you'll see with Simons is living in bonded pairs. They live in other social groups as well, just like other animals. They might have different social groupings, but these guys um, are most commonly found in these bonded pairs. These guys came from Pittsburgh Zoo. They were already in a bonded pair. They already um, had a song developed, and they'll sing a lot as they're getting their song developed, and then uh, usually about once a day, we've had them sing here at the zoo, usually around 11.30 in the morning. Um, they'll sing this song, this duet, and it really shows how strongly bonded they are. So they do it, it's almost like a love song. It's a really strong um, duet that um, is harmonized and really beautiful. So you guys hopefully will get to hear that after this. And um, they'll do it for territory. So they're basically letting other Siamangs know that a strong bonded pair lives in this territory and you can't come in. This is their area and they are strong and they work as a team. So it's a really cool thing about them. Now because of that, I have to, I keep walking back and forth. Um, <laughs> We uh, have these really fancy PPEs. So I told you PPE is personal protective equipment. So we have to protect ourselves from diseases, from animals, but we also have to protect our ears from our very loud primates. Um, I mentioned howler monkeys already. I bet you can guess how a howler monkey gets its name. Howler monkeys have a very loud territorial call, just like these guys, but it's more of a howl and it's a little lower, but they are actually the loudest land animal. So howlers, loudest land animals, cyanines, if you guys have gotten to hear them and you're about to, you'll hear that they're very loud. When we're inside and both species decide to be in the building with us, it can be quite loud. So to protect our ears, these muffs, that are used for heavy machinery um, are perfect for keeping our eardrums safe. So I just put them on like this, and that makes it so that they don't hurt my ears. All right, so you guys are gonna get a chance to hear them sing. Um, we have a challenge for you, as we will every day, and your challenge today is to make some music for us. Make an instrument, sing a song, make some kind of music, and that's your challenge today. You can post it on our comments, you can post it using the hashtag CMC Zoo School, and we'll get a chance to hear um, all your beautiful music. All right, guys, so now you get to hear them make their territorial call, their duet, and um, you guys will get to see that Merlin and Leela's throats are going to get really big. Their throats can actually get the same size as their heads, 
and that's what helps them make this incredible sound. We also each have a part that they're going to sing um, for this, so it'll be really neat to you guys get the opportunity to hear it. So enjoy!